76 to 67. Raise your hand up. Let me see you. The Bowser Rebels are your 2015-2016 State League champs. Toledo's great. It's a great city. It's been very good to me. For whatever school you go to, the people are just wonderful. The coaches, the fans, the players, the kids. They all understand that we're all a big community, but yet we're all a small town as well. One year ago, one year ago, we were here in this theater with a great friend and colleague, Joe Rignoski. Now, I remember talking with Joe in the back back there about what he was going through, his minute-to-minute -minute ongoing battle against cancer. And I remember him telling me, you know, that he was fine. And I remember telling him he was the strongest guy I'd ever met. And then he looked at me and he flexed and he said, you know it, Hobart. <laughs> Joe passed away a couple of months later. Tonight, his bride, Janet Rignoski, joins me to present the Joe Rignoski Inspiration Award. Janet. As many of you are well aware, my late husband, Joe Rignoski, was a warrior, a man who had the courage and the drive to play the hand that he was dealt, overcome the long odds, and go on to excel as a professional sports broadcaster. He battled health problems all of his life, but that never diminished his incredible spirit, and he has the inspiration to, and add inspiration to all of us that knew him. This year's Inspiration Award winner has a lot of those same qualities and attributes. His accomplishments at Whitmer High School as part of the golf team, and he is involved with many other sports, show that he has the same passion for sports that Joe did. And he has demonstrated the same drive energy that Joe displayed every day of his life. Um, early on, Nick was, was diagnosed as being autistic, and um, with, with most children that are autistic, there's not that outward appearance that there's something wrong. Um, there's just quirkiness or, or just something a little off. After the aut autism diagnosis, he was also diagnosed with having a muscular dystrophy. So again, more ammunition for kids to kind of pick on him, but if you know Nick, his attitude, he either didn't pick up on it or just didn't care what anybody was saying about him. Hello, my name is Nick Gulch. Um, I go to Whitmer High School. I play golf here for the high school. Um, I have a lot of great friends on the team, um, but also I like playing, I play hockey for a team at Livonia, um, and then I also am and just told by one of my teachers that I'm gonna be part of the baseball team next year. Uh, he's an excellent hockey player. Um, and again, if he didn't have this muscular dystrophy, he always say what ifs, but uh, I think he would be, he'd probably be being interviewed for a completely different thing if, if he didn't have some of these, uh, these challenges that he has, he would probably be a, a, a star athlete in any, any sport he chose. Um, to be able to do what he does now with his disability, and, um, when he grips a club, you can just see he has to grip it different, different than anybody else. Um, I've seen him go up to the, to the tee and he can't put the tee in the ground because his hands just don't work. Um, so he chooses a different club or I've seen him go up to the tee box and shake his hand because his hand is completely frozen and he can't move it. So he shakes it a little bit to get movement back in it. But other than sports, he also, being behind the camera is, is his goal in life. Um, my first ever video I did, I started interviewing the walleye players. And that was pretty fun. And then I started to have this hurt. I started interviewing the softball team and stuff. And then I ended up and last this for a project, I had to um, interview, I had to do a cloning video, so I interviewed myself. And I think I'm up to about like 10,050 viewers right now. I want to be somewhere in sports broadcasting. Um, I mean, I would want to be like on a chain 13 or 11 or, or, or um, BCSN, but I, I just think if, there's, if I can get into that, then maybe there might be another, another one out there somewhere that I could work for. Every parent tells you that their kid is, is wonderful and, and uh, that they have the perfect child, but uh, you know Nick truly is an amazing person. He would hug every single person in the world if he could. He's just, he's just, just got that kind of personality where he doesn't let anything bother him, and, and uh, even though he's had a lot of reasons too. 
He inspires me every day, just watching him what he does and, and uh, just how, how, how sweet and, and uh, he's just, just, just a fantastic kid. This year's Joe Rignoski Inspiration Award winner, Nick Gulch. Thank you, and uh, just first off, I want to thank, thank uh, Tom Cole for nominating me for this award. Um, I met Mr. Rutnowski at the Tilly Golf Show a couple years ago, and um, I wish we would have been able to play golf together. And I uh, also want to thank my teachers from Whitmer to Sterling and Jefferson, and I thank everybody that was also happy to be part of my life. I really thank every single athlete in this room and go Panthers. Welcome back to BCSN. I'm here with Nick Gold, just won Inspiration of the Year Award. How important is it for others with a disability to know that they can set their mind to anything and achieve it, just like you have? Um, you know, just if there's something that doesn't seem right, just let her off your back. Uh, I got my inspiration to do that by my favorite goaltender, Jeff Lerg. Uh, he really, you know, being as small as he is and playing hockey, he does a really good job, so he doesn't let that take him down. He just plays as best as he can. What's your motivation to keep doing everything that you love? Just keep on trying and don't give up. And you said you want to be a sports broadcaster. You're in a great place to do that. What would be your dream team to report on? The Toledo Walleye. There you go. And he's already done some of that, so you're already, you're already halfway there. Congrats, Nick. Thank you.